Here's my take on decision fatigue. Decision fatigue is all about fear and it's all about just not taking one step after another. And I'll give you an example. I'm buying you a trip to Hawaii. Ooh. So we go to Hawaii and I said to you, okay, in the morning, do you want some mangoes or strawberries? You're going to pick one. Mangoes. Mangoes. Okay, great. And then I say to you, okay, so what do you want to do? Do you want to go for a little bit of a hike or do you want to sit by the pool? What would you say? Mm, hike. Hike. Okay, great. Now we've come back from a hike. Would you like to take a shower or should we get into lunch? Shower. Shower. Okay. Now that we've had a shower, do you now want to have lunch or do you want to sit by the pool? Lunch. You want to have lunch. Okay. Now that we've had lunch, do you want to read a book with me or do you want to go for a walk on the beach? Walk on the beach. Okay. Do you realize how many decisions you've made in a really crossfire? <laughs> exactly, mm -hmm. Right? Like you've made a lot of decisions and you're not fatigued. Why? Because you're having fun, right? You're having fun with me in Hawaii. You're on a holiday. So when we're on a holiday, our brain goes, oh yeah, this is amazing. So I say, why not bring that headspace into your everyday life? Why do you have to be on a holiday to escape? What are you trying to escape, right? So if we bring all of this back into our reality, into our day-to-day -day life, the only reason we're having decision fatigue is because we've made it out to be this big when really it is this small. And the only reason it becomes this big, why? Because we are not clear on what it is we want. Because if you don't know what you want and you have no fuel behind you, which is your purpose, why you want it, we will get fatigued, right? You guys are all, we're all vehicles, just like cars on the road. They take petrol. Our purpose, which is our why, why we want to do it, what is it going to achieve for us, you know, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, what is it going to mean for our relationships as we achieve this outcome? That is our fuel that we need to have. And when we don't have these steps within our framework, we find decision-making so tiresome. And then we procrastinate. And then we don't make a decision. And then we start getting overwhelmed because now decisions are not being made and things are not working. So we're feeling more confused. Now we're just in a spiral. So decision fatigue is actually a mindset problem. Decision fatigue happens because first we had a belief. We had a belief that limited us, that made us see something differently than what sh we should be seeing. So fear is first thing. Think about any decision you're trying to make and you go back and back and back and you realize you're scared. You're scared. And nine out of 10 times, we're actually scared of making the wrong decision, right? Because then what would that mean? Oh my God, if I do this and what, what, if, what if this happens or that happens? Nothing's happened yet. And you don't even know if it's going to happen or not. You have no control over that. So fear is first thing. Understanding what is limiting you and what your fears are is going to be the number one thing that you have to do a tap into if you want to understand your fatigue around decisions. Then the second thing is, okay, now that I don't have that fear, now that I don't have that limiting belief, now I can concentrate and focus on what is it that I want? When I'm trying to achieve this, what is it that I want? Why do I want it? Now the how becomes easy. If you found this valuable, then hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below on what was your biggest takeaway. I've gone ahead and created more videos that I know you'll find useful. So take a look at those next.